Well, for years it's been known as the hub of Delaware, and its longtime traditions such as the fairgrounds and harness racing have been the foundation of the city's development and growth. We, of course, are talking about the city of Harrington, a historical place that our next guest is showcasing in his latest book. Here to tell us this afternoon about his book, Title Harrington. This is author Doug Poor. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Good afternoon. Nice yeah. to be here. Now we're going to get to the book in just a moment, but first we want you to tell us about your involvement with the Greater Harrington Historical Society. After retiring, I got more involved as uh, looking for something to do. Golf you can't do all year round. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I've been a member for a while and I got more involved in archiving, uh, displaying artifacts, and they had had a book project sitting there for a while that they never completed. Right. So I picked it up and said, well, that might be a good thing to occupy a little bit of my time. So uh, the Historical Society, I'm assuming then, selected the best images for the book. Well, it was kind of like, well, since you want to do this, you do it. So I got to do the research from pretty much start to finish. Um, I became the curator there, so I dug through all the files and the photos. So I got a very in-depth, I've lived there all my life, but even a bigger behind the scenes look at what the city's all about. Uh, wow. Why is it so important to have some a work like this for the city? For any place to remember your history, um, to see where your town or city came from, the people you never knew about. Um, it's amazing to think our little town just outside of it, the gentleman who helped plan the glider invasion for Normandy hmm. lived just outside our town. Another lady was the most decorated nurse in World War II, was shot down twice in planes returning GIs from the front. So to learn about those kind of people that I never knew, that are just average citizens but have this whole other side, it was just a tremendous uh, opportunity. Oh my goodness. Okay, so with all that under your belt, with all that knowledge, what kind of a future do you see for Harrington? It is slowly returning as a lot of small towns are. The downtown business area is been under development. There are more stores open now than ever. Um, the new hospital, of course, in Milford, that whole area between Milford and Harrington, I look for it to grow, right. both residential and commercial. So I look for the town to continue that progress forward. Nice. What, what do you hope people gain from this book the most? Is it just a lesson in history, or do you, do you see it as a way to go forward and build on the past? Both, I, I guess, would be the best answer to that question. It is a way to look back, to learn about things they never knew about the town, uh, and to take that history uh, that they didn't discover, didn't know, and then apply it to move forward. So it's an opportunity to do both. Author, you see I just about messed up there. I nearly called you David. <laughs> Author Doug Poor and the book Harrington. Yes, sir. Now, if you would like to find out how to get your own copy, you can go to delmarvelife.com and find out how to get one for yourself. Thank you. Thank so you very much. much. It's a pleasure. Wonderful talking to you.